Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Trauma Center, Second Opinion. So, last time we cured death! Well, no, not really. Let's not give Delphi too much credit. However, they were all gung-ho about making a force akin to death itself, so the fact that I cured it should be making that run through their putrid minds right about now. Also, the storylines are finally linked together. So finally, Derek and... Uh, Naomi Kimishima will be able to operate side by side. Cool stuff. Uh, hold on. Sorry, having a little high red glitch. The wrist strap is not staying on. God knows why. I feel like this was easier with the previous incarnation. Anyway, now on to the final chapter. Unless I decide to do the X missions, in which case, you'll have the same experience that many who played this game did. Which end flag is the real one? Anywho. With Delphi exposed, it didn't take long for sleeper cells to be found and eliminated. The end of medical terrorism seemed to be within reach. Professor Blackwell pledged his full cooperation with Caduceus in the ongoing investigation. See, it was totally cool to save him! He did stuff! Although it was his daughter's kidnapping that forced Blackwell to cooperate, he maintained that Delphi's actions would have been impossible without his research. When offered a formal pardon, Blackwell insisted that he serve out his term in prison. He thanked Derek and Andy for giving him a second chance to atone for his mistakes. You got it, bruh! The professor's testimony provided a clearer picture of the international terrorist organization known as Delphi, and shed light on their intentions. Delphi held to a dangerous ideology preached by their leader, a mysterious man who called himself Adam. At which point you go, oh right, that guy on the box! I, of course he's gonna be important. Their financial backing came primarily from holdings they absorbed from a number of international pharmaceutical conglomerates such as the Idoth Corporation. The major world powers combined resources in a massive search for Delphi's headquarters. It wasn't long before they located it, a fortified vessel in the Atlantic Ocean. Dr. Stiles and Nurse Andrew were asked to accompany the British Navy in a raid on Delphi's aquatic facility. A horrifying discovery awaited them inside the vessel. One which demonstrated the cruel lengths to which Delphi had gone to develop their guilt. They had kidnapped children from all over the world to serve as hosts for the original subspecies of guilt. Okay, so all that ending the cruelty of existence thing. You're full of shit. I just got done watching Helsing Ultimate, so I'm talking like Alucard right now. And I love it. <laughs> Dr. Styles and Andrew operated on these victims, who were taken into protective custody once they were free of the virus. And in the hidden depths of the vessel, Derek came face to face with Adam, the mastermind behind medical terrorism and the main objective of the raid. Although, having absorbed guilt into his own body, Adam had become scarcely more than a corpse. God damn, at least you are determined, huh? <laughs> the vapors present in Adam's chamber were enough to momentarily incapacitate Derek. The British sources soon located and revived him and said you're a complete idiot for going in there alone, goddammit, and for not wearing your PPE gear. At last, the mission was complete. Adam's guilt-infested remains were confiscated by the British Navy, and their current whereabouts are unknown. For all intents and purposes, Delphi has been destroyed. Several months have passed since that time. Caduceus USA has continued its ongoing battle against intractable diseases. They have seen many members come and go, but their mission to research new treatments has continued, with Dr. Derek Stiles at the forefront. Thanks to the vigilant efforts of Caduceus USA, memories of the plague known as guilt have finally started to vanish. However... You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Dark Gospel, an invitation. This new medis- <laughs> This new medication is sweet. The patients have been responding really well. Well, I'm not usually one to brag. Let's just say I expected nothing less than perfection. Shouldn't you give some credit to Blackwell since he, you know, thought of it? There is a fine line between theory and creation. I question your abilities as a doctor if you don't appreciate that difference. Alright, Victor. Blackwell thought up a method of treatment and you made it work. Can we drop it now? Whatever, I still made it work. It kinda sucks they're the only ones who will ever know Blackwell had anything to do with it. We're fortunate he agreed to help us while paying his debt to society. The world needs Professor Blackwell's research more than anyone will ever know. Welcome back, Dr. Good. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth. 
Welcome back to Dr. Styles. You too, Angie. Thanks for the souvenirs. That Pocky was delicious. I'm such a slave to Japanese treats. Glad you liked it. Me too. Weebs for life. We didn't have much time to appreciate Tokyo, though, since most of our time was spent on conferences and hospital visitations. I think I'm still a little jet-lagged. <sighs> Can you at least try to act like your world-renowned super doctor? <laughs> uh, we're all human at the end of the day. Have you heard back from Dr. Myers? I'd like to know how she's adjusting to Hope Hospital. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> the director wanted to see you two as soon as he got back. It must be tough being so popular, huh? You'd better head up to his office. Well, thanks for letting us know. Think there's any chance he's going to give us a vacation? Hmm? I seriously doubt it. Yeah, no, no, you're like our one punch man for medicine. We need you, like, all the time. <laughs> a long-term assignment in Great Britain? Will I be going as well? Yes, they asked for both of you, specifically. They're in the final stages of some project and asked for our most skilled doctors participate. We were hesitant about their proposition, but considering they finally decided to ask for our help after months of silence, we agreed. Caduceus Europe will be holding a conference there in about a month. We'd like you to attend that as well, and Director Hoffman will be joining you. Like he said, the British have been quiet about their research since the raid. Now all of a sudden, they're asking outside organizations for help with some project. They must be extremely confident if they're willing to break their silence on the issue considering they were unwilling to share any information on Delphi only months ago. We would like you to keep us posted on their activities while you're there. So they're sharing their data? I thought you said they just wanted skilled surgeons. They made sure we understood none of their research was to be made public. Director Miller is a good man, but I worry about all this secrecy. I can only assume the government wanted to have others involved as a safety measure. Are you willing to accept, knowing that there's more to this than meets the eye? I understand the situation, but if they need our help, I'm willing to go. We accept. We've made preparations for you to leave in five days. You'll be on a duty as usual until then. I'll see you both in a month. Okay. Going to London. Whatever. Britain. They didn't actually say, did they? Uh. Oh. Oh, can we actually fly without operating on someone? You know, I didn't think I wouldn't have to take that for granted anymore. <laughs> that only happened once, so I'm just being very facetious. Caduceus Europe, Director's Office. Thank you all for coming this way. Thank you for coming all this way. I'm sure you're both quite tired. I don't believe we've spoken since the Delphi raid. It feels good to see old friends again. It was a difficult mission, but I'm glad everything turned out for the best. It's an honor to be invited here. Miss Thompson, please let me know if there's anything we can do to make your stay easier. After all, I'm sure Dr. Styles owes much of his success to having you at his side. Thank you, Director. I'm positive Dr. Styles and I will both learn quite a bit during our stay. Allow me to introduce you both to Dr. Owen, our research executive. He will be supervising all the research you take part in while you're with us here. It's an honor to meet you both, Dr. Styles. Nurse Thompson. And the Game Grumps immediately went, I'm not evil, ignore my red eyes and tie that looks like screaming souls. <laughs> you work on our project. Your work on our project will be quite pivotal, I'm certain. Nice to meet you. Dr. Owen was actually the first person to recommend your involvement. We believe that only doctors of your talent would be able to complete these final stages. <laughs> You might think I'm being selfish, but this is something only you two can handle. Hopefully we won't embarrass ourselves too badly. Well then, if you'll follow me, I can fo fill you in on the details of our research. Back to tanks? We gonna find Luke in here? The results of our regenerative treatments have been far beyond expectation. If I might be so bold, I would say we're about to turn medical science on its head. As you can see, we've transplanted these Neo cells in hopes that they regenerate the lost tissue. What's surprising is how quickly it occurs and the low rate of autoimmune difficulties. This is only possible because of our advanced facilities and brilliant researchers. If we were as limited as the other branches of Caduceus, I doubt our research would have advanced even half as quickly. 
Hey, I'm impressed. I didn't realize you guys were working on something like this. But what does any of this have to do with guilt research? Most of the theories we put into practice are based on what we learned fighting guilt. I'm afraid I can't say more than that. We're saving the finer details for our conference. You've said you've already treated hundreds of patients with regenerative technology? We'll be visiting those patients tomorrow. It will be easier to understand if you can see their recoveries for yourself. Ah, Dr. Kimishima, have you finished your rounds for the day? Hi, Naomi! <laughs> yes, Director. I assume these are the doctors from America. Your timing couldn't be better. Allow me to introduce you. Dr. Styles, this is Dr. Naomi Kimishima. You know, the bad guy from the other storyline who's good now. <laughs> She's been working with us for some time. Like you, she specializes in miracle surgeries. A pleasure to meet you. Anata ga yume na style sensei ne? It's uh, nice to meet you. I'm afraid I don't understand what you said, Dr. Uh, Kimishima. Oh, my mistake. I was under the impression you had recently traveled to Japan. And she basically said, so this is the great Dr. Styles, huh? <laughs> She actually hails from Japan originally, that however is not important. She's been supporting our research in a number of ways with her unique talents. In a perfect world, she'd be able to work in your place, however, there's been a problem. A problem? There have been isolated reports of guilt throughout Europe, even after Delphi's defeat. Unfortunately, we have no idea what could be causing them. There has been speculation that these outbreaks are occurring naturally, but splinters of Delphi are far more likely. The FBI has been investigating this as well. Dr. Kimishima has her hands full treating the guilt victims as they're brought in. That is why we cannot have her working on research full time. We may also need you to assist her occasionally, Dr. Styles. I hope that you understand. Of course, I'd be glad to help. I didn't realize there were still guilt outbreaks. It would appear Delphi's power runs deeper than anyone thought possible. That is eerie to leave it off on. Relapse. And what a title, huh? Thirty-two hours have passed since the patient was infected. His vitals are relatively stable, but we have no indication of how long that will last. The chiral reaction indicates to tardy, and we know it's in his liver. However, the tests exercise every precaution. This strain seems unusually contagious. I've updated his chart. We have a lot of experience treating this guilt and will proceed as normal. Yes, if you require any additional tools, don't hesitate to let me know. I believe you'll find our facilities to be a state of the art. I'm expecting a flawless performance. I'm gonna get a C. <laughs> we'll do our best. I'm going to be observing this one from the monitoring station. I'm interested to see what your healing touch is like, Styles. Chiral reaction positive. Tatardi bodies detected. Means of infection unknown and currently under investigation. Caduceus Europe's tests were correct. This is definitely Tatardi, though the symptoms are a little unusual. Let's treat it normally, but be prepared in case anything unexpected happens. You can handle this, Doctor. I believe in you. Yeah, you're right. Are you feeling alright, Derek? Sh sure, I'm fine. No, you're not. No, you're not. You should tell people. Then I'll keep you posted on anything unusual. You just concentrate on the procedure. The only problem we can anticipate with Tatardi is changes in its synchronicity. Once we observe its movement pattern, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. That's true. Let's hope we don't need to worry about anything beyond our objective. Exterminate the Tatardi cells. I'm ready when you are. Let's begin the operation. Okay, let's begin the operation. Try hard mode activated. Let's begin. Oh, only 75. Great. No tumors. Stand still, you bastard. You did it. What is that? Uh Huh. 
Tatardi's never reacted this way before. So you had to pay attention to which one was giving off which steam, and that with them all mixing together, it gets weird. Doctor, are you alright? Yeah, it, it just surprised me is all. We should continue then. No, the chiral reaction is good increasing. Here it comes. You can neutralize it a little bit with the antibiotic gel, but don't... Yeah. Don't talk and do a let's play while you're doing this. Doctor! Doctor, I figured it out! You can distinguish... I friggin' figured that out! <sighs> you insult me! Are you sure you're feeling it all right, Derek? What? Yeah, of course, I'm fine. Now I need these vitals up, baby. Go ahead and disappear, I don't care. Okay, I'll try. There we go. Ah, I think the vitals go down so bad when I miss. But the target is so small. We have a negative chiral reaction. Good work, Doctor. Yeah, I'm getting a Z. The patient's sudden infection may have been caused by those toxic excretions. We'll have to look into it further once the patient is awake. Excretions. I don't care. Leave me alone. Nice work, Dr. Operation complete. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> Caduceus Europe, operating room. What the? <coughs> What's wrong with? <coughs> Dr. Styles, is there something wrong with the patient? No, this is. <coughs> I'm the one coughing, you idiot. <laughs> Derek, what happened? His symptoms. This is bad. Order a chiral test immediately. He may have been infected. And now, guys. We're f second opinion. Title of the game. We're friggin' operating on Derek. <laughs> it's time for Kimishima to make good on that whole, uh, you know, uh, what was it? Redemption! Story arc, you know? Emergency board. Tests are positive. He's been infected with guilt. I knew there was something odd about that last patient. There's no precedent for this. If it's reached his heart, he shouldn't even be conscious. I guess I was careless. I didn't think... <clears throat> didn't think you'd end up on the operating table. That <laughs> you were somehow immune by your title of doctor. Okay, let's not be too mean, though. We've wasted enough time talking about it. If we don't operate immediately, he'll die. I wish we had more information to go on, but we've run out of options. Dr. Kimishima, you're the only person qualified to handle this operation. Of course, Director. I've contacted Caduceus USA and received their consent to proceed. I don't need to tell any of you how crucial this surgery will be. But Dr. Styles is no ordinary patient. He's the medical field's national treasure. Nurse Thompson, I would like you to provide full support to Dr. Kimishima. Oh, and what am I exactly? I also have the bloody healing touch. <laughs> yes, I'll do my best. Hmm. Director, may I speak to Dr. Styles? I'd like to speak with the patient alone. If you must. We'll be right outside. Let us know as soon as you're ready to proceed. I'm worried that Nurse Thompson's feelings for you will prevent her from doing her job. Are you sure she can handle this? Don't worry about Angie. She's the best there is. She's Professor Blackwell's daughter, right? I hope she's as tough as her old man. Huh? Oh yeah, I met him. I took a few jobs for Delphi back in America, under an assumed name. I can't stop time or anything, but my healing touch was enough for them to pay top dollar. They needed me to keep guilt subjects alive long enough to complete their research. In a way, that guilt inside you wouldn't exist without me. Wh why are you- <coughs> After you raided Delphi's American IDOF facility, I cut a deal with Caduceus Europe. I gave them a guilt sample and my healing touch in exchange for full immunity. This is how I've chosen to atone for my sins. No. <coughs> Why are you telling me this? Trust is a crucial component of the doctor-patient relationship. Yeah, but it's usually <coughs> the other way around. <laughs> you might have a point. I had my reservations, of course. Doubts. About whether I deserve to keep operating. Look at us. 
You've saved countless lives, and you'll die if I can't save yours. But I've realized something. As long as I'm still needed, I can be a doctor. I want my life back just as much as you want to live. We both need to keep fighting. I believe in you, Dr. Kimishima. <laughs> I can trust you with my life. See you on the other side. Chiral reaction positive. Kiriaki and Paraskevi bodies detected. Proximity to the heart necessitates vitals be monitored closely. Here are the test results. This color reaction shows two distinct patterns. Yeah, he's been infected by two different strains of guilt at the same time. Then it's too late? There's no reason to assume the worst. You're right, I'm sorry. What types... <clears throat> Do we know which strains of guilt are involved? The tests say Kiriaki and Paraskevi. You already know the affected area is... Derek's heart. Kiriaki's lacerations are going to present a serious danger to his vitals. And if we give Paraskevi an opening, it will burrow directly into his heart. See, we're already like on the fail state of Paraskevi at the start of this operation. Guess which one I'm targeting first. We won't be allowed any mistakes, so we'll both need complete concentration. That's more like it. Just hold it together, alright? Saving Dr. Styles will require two steps. Exterminate the Kiriaki, extract the Paraskevi. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin. Alright. And try hard mode activated for the second time. Here we go. It's going to be okay. We're going to be working around his heart. Be very careful, Doctor. Let's get our boy Derek at max here, yeah? Because if Kiriaki's gonna be fucking him up, we don't need him more fucked up. Hey! No. No, I'm I'm tired of doing that. Okay, never mind. No choice. Let's begin. It's going to be okay. Hey. There we go. Slicing our pro tag open. Dr. Kimishima, I would like to confirm the procedure before we get started. Don't forget that Pierce Gibby will stop moving momentarily if attacked by the surgical laser. So if you notice the guilt attempting to escape by burrowing into the affected area, I would strongly advise using the laser to stop it in its tracks. Because if it gets into the patient's heart, then there's nothing we can do. I see. Don't worry, Angie. I'll take care of him. Cow reaction rising. Fortunately, you start with those mini ones that you can extract right away. Don't expect it to be that easy throughout, though. Because look at that. Stop it! Freaking sensor bar! Now, as soon as you extract these Kiriaki, it's gonna be the two bit pair Skibby. Needs to be cut a little bit first. Fortunately, they don't give you the big ass strain to deal with in this mission, but. It's still a pain in the ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. You need to stop doing that. Derek's getting fucked up right now. One more. I think. I hope. Nope. Carol reaction decreasing. Carol reaction is weakening. Don't forget to treat the other wounds in the area. 
And that's gonna be the big Kiriaki plus two bit Paris Gebby. Go! Go. There we go, you asshole. Alright. Pink cut. Let's go. Now heal stitching will heal him up, just like the life juice. And with Paris Gebby removed, that gives me a lot less to worry about. And that's just a typical Kiriaki operation. Well, um, power reaction, reaction is negative. Let's treat the rest of his injuries. Thank God. Back to Styles. You're going to be okay. We did it. There we go. And a minute thirty-eight to go. <laughs> You're amazing, Doctor Kimishima. Operation and complete. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Hey, not bad. A miracle. I don't believe it. We're fortunate the operation went so well. Caduceus Europe would be ruined if Dr. Styles had died on our watch. You are truly a blessing, Dr. Kimishima. Thank you, Naomi. I'm sure Derek will get well soon. He'd better. I was just doing my job. No need to thank me. But would you want to hide your tears from him? You think he doesn't already know? The man deserves to see how you feel. Ah! Uh... Original Sin. It's good to see you're doing well, Dr. Styles. Some doctor, right? <laughs> I don't think I could even lift a scalpel right now. Yeah, anesthesia! Painkillers! Hell of a drugs! Did you need anything, Director Miller? No, you can rest. There was just something I thought I should tell you. Oh, about Dr. Kimishima? You don't need to worry, I already know. She told me all about her past. Yes, well, I trust you understand. She's become a valuable member of our team here. But that isn't what I wanted to speak to you about. This is something you do not know. Are you okay to walk? Please follow me. Sure, okay. Keep an arm at me all, at all times or I'm literally just gonna headbutt the floor. <laughs> Seriously, I've been on painkillers before I know Derek's kinda fucked up right now. <laughs> Here, you're looking at our big secret. This is... Guy in the box! Adam. The source of guilt's evil is sleeping right there, in that capsule. He no longer breathes, and blood has ceased to flow in his veins. He's dead. Well, he isn't alive, so technically, yes. We're preserving them at very low temperatures. Don't worry, he cannot be revived. The strange thing is, his body shows no signs of putrefaction. So creepy! <laughs> We've been researching guilt and Adam since the raid on Delphi's Ocean Fortress. Those studies are the basis of the regenerative treatments we showed you. We felt the risk was justified if it meant saving more lives. But there are times I wonder, are we continuing along Delphi's path? Why did you show this to me? I'm not exactly sure. I just felt you had the right to know. How did you expect me to feel? All the work I've done! And now this! If it motivated you in the fight against guilt, then I wouldn't regret a thing. The Neo cells our treatment was based on came directly from Adam's body. His bodily fluids are being used in a unique new serum we're developing. We risked our lives on that ship battling the evils Delphi had unleashed. You know, I'm doing prey right now, this is too much- too close to the Typhon's shit. 
but we also found that great treasure on board. We've earned that bounty. I'll be going into further detail during the upcoming conference. I'd like to hear your opinions on the subject then, since you're such a valuable figure in the field of medicine. Hmm. Okay, stop doing this shit, because it's creepy. <laughs> that's my fucking... That's my opinion. Did, you did want my opinion, right? Not just the feel-good answer? <laughs> okay. So, the fact that the next thing is an operation suggests that the conference kinda hit it. You know, shit hits the fan. So, I am expecting at this point, one or two more episodes. Depending. Because as you might expect, Savato also makes her turn appearance. As to whether or not I'll do the X missions, um, I don't know. Probably not. I feel like there are other series deserving of my attention. We'll just get through the story and say that the X missions are like, you know, a personal challenge for the players. You know? Give you a reason to go pick up the game. Well, with that next time, we're gonna see what the future of guilt entails. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.